This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Perez. A veiled man found guilty of murdering his stepdaughter in 2017 is expected to be sentenced today. Joshua Lelevere faces the prison, life in prison after he was convicted of first degree murder and seven other felonies in connection with the death of his teenage stepdaughter, Jaden Gallone. Pima County Sheriff Mark Napier appeared on Fox News today to talk about the county's border with Mexico. What pulls on my heartstrings is my deputies recover over 100 bodies a year in the deserts of my county alone, and that is a humanitarian crisis. And those are only the bodies that we find. We have absolutely no idea how many bodies are out there. Yeah, he says anyone who suggests that what's happening at the border is not a national crisis is disingenuous, almost to the point of being dishonest with malice. That's according to Napier. Let's check with Kyler Diggs, who's uh, got kind of status quo from what we've seen the last few days for the next few days, right? Yeah, it looks like more of an unsettled weather pattern as we head on through the west rest of this week, Pat. We're going to see a few showers early Tuesday and then probably into Wednesday as well. And then by the end of the week, a little chance of showers late Thursday into Friday. But notice these high temperatures hanging right in there in the 60s, a little bit cooler by the time we get to Saturday, but overnight lows will maintain in the 40s, so no hard freezes are in the forecast, just those passing showers off and on throughout the week. The unsettled weather pattern continues. All right, Kyler, thank you. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kgun9.com. Follow us on social media as well. Thanks for joining us.